Hey fellow aviators! Real life pilots are trained well to complete landings in stormy weather. But what if the weather is, well, too stormy? Today, we're going to fly our planes through some of the craziest storms possible and try to safely land the aircraft. Let's begin! We'll start with mobile flight simulators. Turboprop flight simulator. In TFS, the weather parameters we can change are fog and wind strengths, and lightning as well. To be honest, it doesn't really affect flying that much. As you can see here, it is a bit harder to make turns than in the fine weather, especially on uncomfortable approaches. But other than that, I'd say you can't really organize stormy weather here. Real Flight Simulator Such a beautiful morning. Such a peaceful approach into Los Angeles International Airport. Hopefully it doesn't turn into some kind of a disaster. Let's go to weather settings and put everything to absolute maximum. Now that is what I call a storm. Look at the turbulence, the A320 is suffering. But the ones who are suffering the most is obviously me. Because I'll have to land this thing without any autopilot on such a great fog. It is also harder to control speed now, because, well, you know, wind. And that did not go well. Let's retry. Ok, we're on the final. Time to concentrate. Wow, we're really gonna end up in like one of those crosswind landings videos, you know? Oh yes, I actually did it! Evacuate everyone, quick! Alright, oh, I forgot I didn't load passengers on board. Infant flight. I'm really not sure what to expect here. Last time I actually managed to take off on the same 737-700 with tens of thousands kilograms on board, using flaps 5, lol. Ok, that would probably be too much. Oh! That was unexpected. I actually lose the control of the airplane here. This approach is worse than an RFS. Yeah, that did not really work. Rewind! You gotta be kidding me. Fifty, forty, thirty, thirty, twenty, ten. Jeez, it just did a backflip. Finally. I really wonder how many attempts that took. Did anyone count? And we're back to PC flight simulators. x 12. Same as we did before, let's set everything to maximum. Wow. I can't even see the plane in the external cam. I don't know about you, but I think this is too much. It's like I'm running the game on some low-end computer and the graphics didn't load. 
Okay, that's better. Look at this poor 737, it's literally shaking. Whatever, let's see what we can do. Okay, that was a bit early. You know, just a tiny little bit early. Hey, does the highway count as a runway? Honestly, the main problem is that this wind is so powerful it just keeps moving me. And the fact that I'm not perfect at piloting doesn't make this better. This is a useless turn. I just lost all the hope at this point. Oh my... Holy moly, that was a butter! You know what? I say this counts. At least I landed the airport area. I'm just too tired to try again at this point. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay, so it has some storm preset. But let's make it even worse. Oh wow, it keeps pulling me... Up? You know how we usually say down, but in our case it's completely opposite. Ouch. Yeah, I really hope there are no passengers on board. Let's try again. I mean, I could say it counts. 100, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. Retard. 5. You know what? That wasn't too bad. Okay, maybe it was. I don't know how the center gear survived at this point. So, what can I say in conclusion? Well, you know how we, flight simmers, sometimes imagine this situation where the pilot is unable to fly the plane, and the crew asks, is there a pilot on board? And flight simmers are like, yes, I'll save everyone. Well, in my case, if it's a stormy weather, no thanks. Just kidding. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're here for the first time, subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.